All right, welcome. Today I'm going to teach you how to graph a parabola the easy way, okay? So we have a parabola here, and I, I have a little makeshift graph over here, and I got a table. Now you can always just plug in chug numbers. You can pick numbers for X, pop it in here, get a number for Y, graph them, and then just let the graph speak for itself. Okay, but I want to save time on how to, I don't want to put a million numbers in here, okay? The best way to do this, there is something called the axis of symmetry. Okay, there is a formula, x equals negative b over 2a. This is a formula. It's an equation of a line. This is the axis of symmetry. Okay, so what do you mean b and a? Well, a, b, and c. Now, you're going to need to see down the road in later in math, but the a value is in front of the squared term, so that's a 1. The b value is in front of the x squared excuse me, the x term, so that's negative 6, and the c, which we're not going to need in the formula, but I'm putting it there anyways. It's the number with no letter, okay? So the key is put things in parentheses over 2a. What is my b value? Negative 6. And what is my a value? 1. So x equals 2 negatives, make a positive. So x equals 3. That is the axis of symmetry. It's an equation of a line. Well, where does x equal 3? Right here. So it's a little dotted line that goes through. So right here, this is the equation x equals 3. Okay. When I graph the parabola, it's going to fold over on the axis of symmetry because all parabolas are symmetrical. So this is the starting point of where we want to put into my table of values. This is also the x-coordinate of the vertex. The vertex is where this parabola changes direction. Now, you by now know, since there is a plus sign, well, you don't see it, but it's there, this parabola is going to be opening up. So to find the vertex, I pop 3 in for x. So I'm going to, let me teach you the best way to do it, okay? I rewrite this, and I'm going to put parentheses around the variable. Yeah, again, I don't like doing this to get the oils on the board. But I'm going to put in 3, okay? And you can do all this on the calculator. I don't care. That's 9 minus 18 plus 8, which is negative 1. So this right there is my vertex. As a matter of fact, I could pop it on my graph right now. Oh, well, we'll do right about there, okay? That's also where this, it's going to be a minimum. It's changing direction. You already know all that. So now all you do is you pick two points higher than 3, and two lower. So these are going to be friends. In other words, they're going to have the same y values. Okay. So now let's take two. You could put two in here. All right. You could go ahead and put two again. That's four minus 12 plus eight. What is it? Oh, zero. Oh, that's pretty convenient. So four, when we put four in, 16, 24, negative six times four is negative 24. That also equals zero. Okay. Again, I'm going quick, but you can just take your time and plug them all. Let's do another one. 1 squared minus 6 times 1 plus 8. That's 1 minus 6 plus 8, which is 3. See, I can work fast because now I'm going to check my answer with this one. That's When I put 5 in here, that's 25 minus 30. Are you with me? I just multiplied 6 plus 8. That's 33 minus 30 is, you guessed it, 3. That is more than enough information now to grab. So let's plot these ordered pairs. 4, 0, 5, 1, 2, 3, 2, 0, and 1, 3. Now you'll know if you did all the math right because it's going to look like a parabola. So let's play connect the dots and put arrows because parabolas go on forever. Now it drives me nuts when kids go like this. They, they do this and then they just go straight up. Or they do a little flare job. Don't do any of that stuff. Just a nice little parabola. That, my friends, is how you can graph a parabola using the axis of symmetry vertex in a table of values.